Hi, Steve Blame here with MTV News. Slash and Duff McKagan of Guns N' Roses join Motorhead's Lemmy and a host of heavy metal heavyweights for a charity concert at the Hollywood Palladium Los Angeles earlier this month. The concert, which raised $40,000 for local tour manager and motorbike accident victim Fred Saunders, was a celebration of wild alcoholic excess. The ramshackle supergroup, who play together on an occasional basis, are named after their approach to working together, the drunk F. X. We had this band called The Drunk, where we play covers, and uh, just basically screwed the whole thing up, but it was okay. get together and get completely wasted and book a gig and not show up for it because we'd all be too wasted. We'd be in the building, but Slash actually didn't make any of the gigs, like the first five gigs because he was always passed out in the back. And it was just a uh, kind of a fun thing, you know, and we always play just for like charities. We don't take any money, we play for beer, you know, henceforth the name. Fred Saunders, who the whole benefits for, had a motorcycle accident. Of course, he didn't have any uh, medical insurance or, or, or money, for, you know, in general. So, you know, he's going to be okay, but this is going to help pay for his medical bills. Now that we're all here, we sort of talked about what songs we can play, which ones we remember, since none of us got together and practiced any of it. We're playing in the wrong key. It's a mystery to me, everybody. And I don't even know what songs we're doing, what key they're in, whether I know the words or not, nothing. It's fun, and at the same time, you know, Fred knows that we care about him. Get well soon, Fred! Get well soon! In the next edition of News at Night, we join Guns N' Roses and their original guitarist, Izzy Stradlin, reunited on stage in Athens. And also in the next edition of News at Night, we take a look at the ecologically-minded radical guitars. MTV News. You hear it first. <laughs>